Hey, we're gonna go see a rocket. See a rocket in there? Oh, oh. Well, there it is. We are at Space Launch Complex 41, right in front of the Atlas V rocket. Beneath the payload fairing where it starts to boat tail in, they call it the boat tail. That's where light sail is. It's gonna pull it all the way out to the pad itself. The pad's out there with the lightning towers around it. All right, so the rocket is in place and uh, she's uh, ready for tomorrow morning. You know, it's pretty exciting to be here and be this close. I've never been this close to a rocket, let alone the one that uh, the Planetary Society has a spacecraft on board. There's been so much interest in light sail. The story's really gone viral. It kind of started out um, when our teammate found this beautiful old video in our archives of Carl Sagan on the Johnny Carson show talking about solar sailing back in 1976. Let's talk about this. This is, this is interesting. Well, this is a just tremendously exciting prospect called solar sailing. Solar this, sailing. And which travels on the radiation and particles that come out of the sun, the wind from the sun. I was in Carl Sagan's class almost 40 years ago and he talked about solar sailing. And so we have finally, at the Planetary Society, realized this dream of flying through space with propulsion provided by nothing but sunlight. Once you're up there and you got your sail deployed, you could get a push from the sun indefinitely. So that's why there's a few missions that solar sailing is just ideal for. And the parrots, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting, it's exciting for all of us. Solar sailing just makes you want to go We're inside the Morrell Operations Center where the Air Force uh, makes part of its decision on whether or not to launch the rocket. Right now we're go, uh, still concerned about possible um, clouds coming in later. But right now we're go. You can see there's some storms off the, pretty far off the coast, pretty far downrange. So this is where people sit and push the buttons, including if there is an abort at the last minute. Uh, they have a switch up there that they can use. Flip that, and it stops the sequencing of the rocket, and it would stop the launch. And it's right there. We're going to add a patch to the wall. So it's very exciting. The light sail is joining the ranks of. Uh, of the Orion capsule, all the space shuttle flights. It's just, just a, a very nice detail to be part of the history of space exploration. That looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why are you guys in camo, camouflage? So we can't be seen. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to launch a solar sail. So thank you all. This is a big day for the planetary side. It's a big deal. It is part of the legacy. It's Getting our little spacecraft into orbit, on orbit, is, is really, it's a wonderful thing. So thanks. Thank you. Since 1990. Oh, my. <laughs> it's warm and Thank fresh you. and it's delicious. It's delicious. So what we're going to do is, long tradition, you want to know what the wind is. If you're a rocket, you very much want to know what the wind's doing, especially this expression, the wind's aloft. The wind's very high up. So it's an old and very effective thing. You have a radio sonde, a transmitter as the payload of a helium-filled balloon, take it up to very high altitude and measure the winds. This is a good spot. When I was allowed to take the patch and pin it to the wall, that's kind of when I got it. That we're part of this bigger, this legacy is, uh, is big. That's when I really, I really uh, got a little choked up this morning. So, it's exciting. You heard them say that if you launch in two hours, you're probably fine. But if you launch in three, the weather's coming the weather's in. Going. Well, yeah. it's just freaking launch in two hours. Exactly. 
The Planetary Society, I'm very proud to say, is launching our light sail spacecraft. Together, we can understand our place in space, and we can, dare I say it, change the world. Thank you all very much. Oh, there's the kite. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so it has a little dihedral. It's got yeah. a lovely bridle, but how did you print it so perfect? Three, two, one. So we're on that last four minutes. There's a last uh, hold, four minutes, and everything is great. And uh, there was not a cloud in the sky earlier. This is 39 years. 39 years of messing around with this thing. And now I think we're going to pull it off. Lights out! <laughs> I am very emotional. Um, you guys, that's that was a real rocket. That's an absolute rocket. Beautiful. I'm still emotional. So happy to see this mission off. <laughs> a lot of time we That's great. That's great. To see our spacecraft get on orbit, it's a big day. The Atlas V left right on time, on a perfect, clear day. This is an old dream to sail in space with someone. Here it is, the image downloaded from our light sail spacecraft. And uh, that, that was, I'm getting choked up. It was really exciting, it was cool. We're over Africa right now.